Good day, students. Uh, welcome to Direct Proof number two. Um, do not forget to visit matgoodserve.com for access to other tutorials such as this, ranging from algebra all the way to calculus. So let's go ahead and write down the um, proof we are about to carry out for our number two direct proof. So for number two, um, we are asked to prove the following. Prove, prove that um, if n and m are perfect squares, if they're perfect squares, then um, their product, then their product nm is also a perfect square. So this is what we're going to prove, prove today. Okay, so um, first thing we're going to do, let's take a look at nm. We're told that they're perfect squares. Now, how can we capture that statement in a mathematical form? Can we write an equation using this fact? And the answer is yes. All right, so um, since, so this is our proof right here. We're gonna, let me delineate it so you know where I'm starting from. Proof since n and m are perfect squares, perfect squares, uh, what does that mean? Since n and m are perfect squares, uh, then, um, then n is equal to a square and m is equal to b square for some integers, integers a and b. Okay, so any number that's a square can be expressed as an integer square. For example, if you have 25, 25 is a perfect square because it can be expressed as 5 square, and you notice that 5 is an integer. So this is um, uh, what it is to be a square by definition. Okay, so let's go ahead and write that down. Since um, since n and m are perfect squares, then n is equal to a square and m is equal to b square for some integers. Um, a, b, um, by definition, definition of a square. All right, so by definition, we can uh, make these two statements. Now, we have an equation that we can use to represent, to find what the value of nm is. All right, so nm is simply going to be a square times b square, okay? And then we can write this as a times a times b times b using the properties of exponents. Now, what can we do? We know that multiplication commutes, so we can write this as a times b um, times a times b. It's a commutative property, commutative property right there of multiplication. And then um, we can then associate them in this order, ab times ab. Okay, using the associative property of any of the of um, multiplication, if you associate the multiplicands, um, you do not change the value of the product. It doesn't matter how you you associate them; you still get the same answer. So we can associate them in this fashion. Now, using the properties of exponents, we are multiplying to identical bases. What do you do? You add the ba the um, powers, right? So this is the same thing as a b square. So n m is equal to a b square. Now, what do we know about a b? That's the next question. Since a and b are integers, then what do we know about the product? The product is going to be an integer also by closure, right? So since a and b are integers, integers, then a b um, is also an integer because um, integers are closed on the multiplication. When you multiply integers, you get an integer, okay? AB is also an integer. So let's make a substitution here. First of all, I would like to declare the variable I'll use in making my substitution. Let S equals AB, 
all right, or uh, some integer s or some integer s. So if I make that substitution of the value of AB, which is S into this equation and M here, all you'll have N, M is equal to, instead of AB, is equal to S squared. So if N, M is equal to S squared for some integer S, what does this, uh, what is the, def this is the definition of what? This is the definition of a perfect square. Okay, so um, N, M, is a perfect square by definition, okay? So by definition, we can conclude that NM is in fact a perfect square. So that concludes our proof. So thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We really appreciate it. Feel free to subscribe to our channel for updates to other um, math tutorials such as this. And do post a comment to let us know what you think about this tutorial. More clips can be found on mathclipserve.com. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day.